Hi Marie Claude. I wanted to actually do a video for you because I figured we, we got to talk on a personal level and I was able to share some of my personal stories and it was a little more intense, uh, but I wanted to show you the other side of my personality. When I'm actually in front of a crowd, I wake up and I become a little bit more alive and excited and I did develop a program and a presentation that went over extremely well with the women that I was presenting it to. I do have feedback for you as well as some testimonials if, if that need be because I would love the opportunity to figure out a way with you to work with you a lot sooner than a, a year from now. I'm very excited about this opportunity. I'm not going to let it go. So I'm going to show you, I'm not going to do the presentation. I'm just going to show you the way I did the presentation because if I send it to you, I realize it's it might not make uh, sense. So what I did for this one, um, the first thing I did was talk about a study about how people should put away their cell phones and they all did, so that worked really well. Um, then I went over an agenda. So what I actually developed with this was a three-stage development program. Uh, one, I looked at value, truths, uh, and then I, I created a personalized action plan for those people so they, they have a reason to follow up, stay in touch a week, a week or so later, and then start to think of themselves. So this was designed more to get in touch with their personal self and develop self-worth. So it was to a group of women who are in a weight loss group who have either had bariatric surgery or were considering bariatric surgery. So people with low self-esteem who have had a difficult time, but I found that I could probably tailor this to any situation. So um, I, I, depending on what the audience is, so if we were working with women with eating disorders, I would tailor it differently, of course, but this was the base of the presentation for this group of people and it seemed to go over really well. So I went over my mission statement as a business and then I did my introduction. So I teamed up with another woman um, who is in a, a part of my female community because I have a lot of women. She was the right person to bring because she herself has yo-yo dieted, lost 30 pounds. I, I did personally help um, with her development and who she is now as a person. She, she was able to grow and change. Uh, believe in herself a little bit more and she shared that story and I have to say I was in tears It was it was beautiful So the group of women that I worked with did laugh and cry and we shared stories and it was Beyond an incredible opportunity. So I, I'm very confident that this could work So this was her and we, we I, I she did her introductions and then that slide was the, I'm not supposed to be in there So we'll just skip over that that'll, that'll be deleted um, taking charge, so I went through and explained to people to the difference of kind of the victim mentality without saying it that way and the difference of taking charge of your own life and, and creating this as a day one, so that worked really well. Uh, then I went into the three stage development program, which I'll, I'll show you what I kind of did with that. So and the thought of the day, your value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. And we talked about the importance of taking care of yourself and learning to love yourself. And that's how, what this presentation was further about. So learning how to reset self-talk. So what I've created with this, and I actually have a character with the drawings um, that's coming that is, is the other side. So I have these positive drawings, but I also have ones now that are gonna showcase um, anger, depression, so forth, because that's what I can identify. So I've actually put a physical picture on these and they're, they're coming, so they, they will be part of the presentation later on. Um, but creating a nickname for that inner critic and then we spoke about that and on how to identify it. So the challenge that I'm going to give them when we spoke about it is how to identify that inner critic. So discovering personal truths, we talked about internal habits, external habits, global habits, um, and then finding their personal passion. So this is where the seminar became very interactive. We spoke as a group, I, I put them in partners um, and made them kind of share a little bit about themselves and open up and I was pretty amazed with how open, open they became and they loved it. Uh, seven days of elegantly outrageous honesty is what I'm calling this personal challenge. Um, identifying their thinking patterns, helping with their missions, finding a theme throughout their subconscious, tuning in more to themselves, and then writing a personal prescription for success and wellness, which I explained would be different for everyone. So that's what I did with that. And then creating their own personal action plan from that. So, uh, and then health attitude. So that's what they, and, and I actually gave a physical handout. Um, I'm starting to think I should have that near me, but I'll, I'll, I can send that to you. And then accountability. So they had to be accountable to me following up a week later and two weeks later, and we, we developed those plans. We tweaked it based on what the, the audience was uh, feeling. There was 16 women in the audience that day, so it was very good. And 
at this point I made all the women stand up and say I'm awesome and they had to identify themselves as being awesome and kind of getting more familiar with that and then turning to their partners telling them they're awesome with the other girls in the group and then we did this powwow and everybody hugged and it was beautiful and was crying and everything else so then we went into a question and answer segment um, and then the, the, I left them with a the message of having to be the best version of themselves because nobody's perfect and I wanted to explain uh, and make sure that they knew that this wasn't about taking on the world and having to go out and be you know, you know the next Hollywood superstar. This is about just learning how to be happy in your own life and being the best version of themselves. So they were perfect when they walked in the door that day and they were perfect when they were leaving. We're just helping grow as people and, and connect as women. So that was the message that I wanted to get across. It was extremely successful. It was very emotional that I obviously can't get across without a real audience, but I wanted you to know that because um, I do think that there's opportunities for us to work together a lot sooner and I would really, really love it. I am super passionate about it. I want to develop this more and more and more. This was, yeah, oh, this was the, this wasn't the personal prescription. This was the first questionnaire and a lot of people were kind of stumped on this. It's kind of hard to see, but um, so I, I've developed this, the question. So. Uh, now it's about being brutally honest so making them I was put on this earth too and uh, I feel the most powerful when I am happiest when so there's a bunch of questions that they had to go through and a lot of them had had a really hard time and it, what we came to discover was so many of them were living somebody else's life their husbands their children's um, other people's and they all realized that they wanted to learn about themselves a lot more and that helped them open up about self-worth for sure so I'd love to be in touch and I hope that helped and we we can talk soon